Hi friends, welcome to the channel on shackling sudokus and puzzles. Ashish here and today I'll be covering a classic sudoku on our channel. So this particular sudoku is constructed by Matteo and we have covered many sudokus uh, by the author on our channel. His classic sudokus are really amazing. Every time we get to see something unique in his classic sudokus, uh, including just the one that we are solving today. This classic sudoku I have already solved it. I even got stuck in between and I had to take a help of the solver to find the intended logic maybe what the author has uh, actually thought of and i even got a logic which was uh, i even got the logic before getting into the uh, checker solver but that logic was not a very i would say ethical or uh, it's kind of a you know uniqueness logic so let's see if you are able to crack uh, this sudoku uh, using any other logic uh, while solving it right let's hope that we get some uh, new logics in it but yeah so I really thank the author Matthew for such a wonderful Sudoku. Let's see if you are able to crack this Sudoku or not. Right? So uh, I'll just solve this Sudoku as I used to solve earlier. And when I get the particular uh, you know instance where the logic is required, I'll just explain you what I saw and what the solver had uh, shown me. Right? So yeah, so uh, one is here, one is here. You get a one in one of these two cells. The same way. You have a 7 year, 7 year, 7 in, in one of these two cells. So this particular Sudoku uses law of symmetry. So what is law of symmetry? If you see here, everything in this Sudoku maps to another digit exactly at every point. So 1 maps to 7. So if you rotate the grid 180 degree, you will see that 1 is always in the place of 7 and 7 is always in the place of 1. So 1 and 7 are 180 degree symmetric every place. If you see every place 1 and 7 are 180 degree symmetric so whenever you get a 1 you can directly save your time and write a 7 in the opposite place that is a really uh, good logic for law of symmetry and law of symmetry only works when you know that the sudoku constructed by author is unique is trustworthy and uh, is of course has only one solution right you cannot use this uh, logic anywhere wherever you get the sudoku you need to know that the sudoku is constructed by a really well known author and you know that it has to have only one solution that at that point of time it would work so i will say you one more thing here if you see here if you have a five year and you have a five year five cannot be here so five has to be here and if you see five exactly maps with three wherever you have a five you have a three in the opposite place so which means this cell would have to be a three sorry this cell would have to be a 3 so if you see here 3 becomes at a 3 comes at r1 c6 now uh, you have a 9 2 here 9 and 2 both cannot be here cannot be here so this is a 2 9 hidden pair here so wherever you have a 9 you have an 8 in the opposite direction wherever you have a 2 you have a 6 so which means this would have to be 6 8 or in other words you can directly say that 6 8 cannot be here and the only place for 6 8 in row 5 is these two places right so uh, if you see here if at all you didn't have a 4 year let us assume you didn't have a 4 year i could still write that a 4 has to be here using the law of symmetry because there is always always be one digit that doesn't map to anything but itself and that digit would have to be in r5 c5 always if you have a law of symmetry uh, you know placement of givens so that's a really good thing here and so 9 maps to 8 7 maps to 1 2 maps to 6 and 3 maps to 5 right and 4 is in r5 c5 if you see here in row 1 both 7 and 8 cannot be here 7 and 8 cannot be here so there is a hidden pair of 7 and 8 in row 1 7 maps to 1, 8 maps to 9, so which means you will always have 1 9 here, here. So 1 and 9 cannot be here, 1 and 9 cannot be here, so there is the, these two cells are 1 and 9. So which means you get a 4 3 8, right? 3 4 and 8 here, 4 5 and 9 here, okay. this cell cannot be a 3 which means this cell cannot be a 5 
okay and same way you have a uh, 24689 here 6824 and 9 68 and 9 68 and 9 all right so three has to be in one of these two cells which means 5 would have to be in one of these two cells, right? So you can save time and just write that way because 3 maps to 5 here using the law of symmetry. Okay, so at this point, I actually got stuck and uh, I, uh, after a while, I got some logic, I got a logic that was really beautiful and I have never seen that logic in, uh, you know, classic Sudoku's, it's a really rare scene logic. So, but I was not satisfied with that logic because I wanted to see if that is uh, what author has not intended or you, if, you, if I had something else to see or I would have missed something. Right. So I'll just explain you what I saw during my solve and that was really amazing still. Um, so as I said you, whatever you get at one place, you know that the opposite place 180 degree symmetry will be the digit that maps to it. Right. So for example, if I have a 2 here, I know that 6 would have to be here according to law of symmetry. So somehow let us assume that I got a 2 here. Maybe I you have a 2 here and you have a 2 here and then uh, you cannot have a 2 here. So using the same logic, I would have got a 6 here, right? Same thing, you know that 8 maps to 9. Wherever you have an 8 here, you will have a 9. So this, I am assuming that the Sudoku is unique and is uh, created or constructed by a well-known author. I know that this Sudoku would always, be one, ha, always have one solution. And assuming that, I thought that whatever you have here, let it be 8 or a 9, the opposite digit would have to be 8 or a 9. So, for example, if you had an 8 here, you would have a 9 here, right? And if you had a 9 here, you would have an 8 here. Whatever be the case, both 8 and 9 can be eliminated from these two cells. That was a really amazing logic. So, we know that both of these cannot be 8 because 8 doesn't map to itself. Only 4 is the only digit that maps to itself that can be in R5C5. So if you have an 8 here, that would have to be a 9 here and if you had a 9 here, you would have to have an 8 here. Which means both 8 and 9 can be eliminated from this cell and this cell is a 2 here, this cell is a 6 here. That gives you a 6 here and a 2 here and that actually helps you to, uh, you know, solve it. So you get a 6 here, sorry, you get a 6 here, you get a 5 here, that gives you a 3 here and a 2 here. And... Uh, that gives you a 2 here, a 6 here and actually you could uh, solve this Sudoku easily, right? This was one of a really beautiful logic that I actually saw and I was happy with it. I was really happy with this logic. But there was some other logic that I could see. Uh, let me mark some more digits here because that would help us to uh, gain some more, you know, uh, eliminate some more digits here. So the digits here would be 1, 3, 4 and 5 right and 3 4 5 and 7 
yeah so what i saw was a x y z wing so 3 4 4 5 and 3 5 you have an extra 4 here so let us assume you eliminate a 4 from this cell let us assume you have a 4 from a 4 in this cell the moment you have a 4 in the cell this becomes 3 this becomes 5 and you cannot have anything here so that is called x y z wing how this work is it's kind of an extension of y wing x y wing if you had a 3 4 here 4 5 here and 3 5 here let us assume you have a 3 5 here and not a 4 here still that would work as a y wing and you could eliminate 4 from this cell right but you have an extra candidate here 4 and using that if you have a 4 here that would give you a 3 here and a 5 here and that eliminates all the cells all the candidates from this cell so you cannot have a 4 here the same thing will work here and you cannot have a 4 here 3 4 5 3 4 and 4 5 that will eliminate 4 from this cell but that was not very uh, i would say um helpful here but the logic that i saw using the solver was kind of an extension of uh two string kite technique so what was this let us in this row okay uh just let me see that yeah in this row let us assume uh not assume you have a three in these two cells right and in this column you have you can have three in these two cells so you could have eliminated a three from this cell if at all you didn't have a nine here right if there wasn't a nine here you could have eliminated three from this cell because having a three here would eliminate three from these two cells and you could have a three in both these cells in the same box now there is a digit already here and you could not do anything with the threes in this cell so which means you can have a three in one of these two cells so we are extending the three to some more cell and which means you cannot have a three here so if you had a three here you will have a three here and you eliminate three from both of these cells again which means both of these cells would have to be a three it's kind of an extension of a uh, two string kite technique which means this cell cannot be a 3 this cell would have to be a 4 again this cell would have to be a 4 the same logic using the you know uh, 5 here you could do the same thing from with the 5 here because 3 maps to the 5 and same way you could eliminate a 4 from this cell you can have a 4 in this cell and that eliminates 4 from this cell this cell this cell and this cell ah that gives you 8 here a 9 here so 8 is eliminated from both of these cells 9 is eliminated from for both of these cells that gives you a 1 9 7 and 8 that gives you a 9 here 8 here 6 and 2 here so we got a 6 and 2 here and which means we were correct here so you get a 2 and a 6 here <coughs> that gives you a 2 and a 3 here that gives you 5 and a 6 here using the same mapping technique that gives you 4 3 and 2 6 5 and 4 8 and a 9 here that gives you 4 and a 4 here 9 and a 2 8 and a 6 here 5 3 5 and a 3 here 1 and 7 in these two cells 6 and 9 so this is 9 that is 6 here 1 and a 5 so this is 1 that is 5 3 and 7 so this is 7 that is 3 so 1 and 8 in any cell so 1 8 1 okay ah uh, yeah i'm right for now so this is 8 and that is 6 map fit 2 and with that we complete this amazing uh, sudoku by matteo so as you saw here there are many things to keep in mind here the first 
and the foremost thing that uh, you have to keep in mind is whenever you come across such a law of symmetry sudoku where the digits maps to exactly one other digit everywhere in this grid except the one digit that will be in r5 c5 and if at all you come across such sudokus in a competition you can directly write the digits without any fear because uh, if the sudoku is unique and is constructed uh, to be uh, to have a one uh, only one unique solution you can directly write that it will really help you a lot the second thing that i saw in the sudoku was really amazing that wherever you have an 8 you will have a 9 and that was just a by value cell so i could eliminate 8 and 9 from both of these cells and that was really helpful so i hope you enjoyed this sudoku do like and comment if you want us to solve any other sudoku variant or a puzzle genre and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel we even request you to subscribe to our uh, patreon page and shackling sudokus and puzzles we would really appreciate that if you could do so and thanks for watching the video